So when you start a career as an analyst, you could be a buy side analyst or you could be a sell side analyst. Normally you have to prepare a pitch report in front of the uh, board of directors or the higher authorities where you have to produce the financials in front of them. And the companies that you could be chosen could be a sector that you specialize. The sector could be a financial sector or it could be uh, say an FMCG sector or maybe a pharma sector depending upon that. So in this session we'll be working on how you have to pull the information that is very important. So before getting into some spec, uh, sector you should know how to pull the information. So first of all we have to, we have to know something inform some market information about the company that is very important. So mostly the company information can be formed uh, can be found with the help of the uh, newspapers news articles or the annual report. So first basis of the of the thing that we can be getting from the annual report itself. Suppose I require I'm just getting into the say FMG sector and I'm choosing a company called Hindustan Lever and I need the annual report of that. So just go to Google search and type Hindustan Hindustan Lever Hindustan Unilever right Hindustan Unilever Unilever and type investor relations investor relations right so you find the hul.com investor relations just click that right in that you will be uh, getting into the investor relations right and we require the reports right whatever the reports you require it will be here right so you have the quarter results right december quarter and september quarter results as per 2021 and you can go for the corporate governance then shareholder information right then csr share price company presentations so as an analyst you have to go through the sec uh, company first you should know what how actually company what is the business process how the business model is of the company is that and how their revenue models is working how their cost models is there first you should know how actually the process works then only you can give uh, get an input into your financials right so in this case we require the uh, annual report so uh, here you have the annual report you can just directly go and click the annual report so when you talk with annual report you find the annual report over here right so they are put, pulling out the annual reports over here so annual report 2020-21 and as far as your analysis is concerned you have to do for the uh, 10 years of data 10 years of uh, information required so go to annual report archives so go to annual report archives so in this you find that they have given the annual report archives from say uh, the year 2008 2008 2009 to 10 2010 to 11 and 2011 to 12 2012 to 13 13 to 14 14 to 15 15 to 16 16 to 17 17 to 18 18 to 19 19 to 20 so in this case for our analysis purposes we will be taking for 10 years so date from and date to right so i'll be taking this from 2011 so i need 10 years right 10 years and till 21 so i should select this and start downloading the report so you will find that this are the information that we require right? from 2010 to 2011 and till uh, 2019 to 2020 right so currently you have current report right now so 2020 21 that also should be chosen right so this is archive report now you can download any one of the report and start downloading all the reports so when we talk so i'll just download this report right so annual report 2020 2011 so you find the annual report over here so what should i look into the annual report so annual report is the key uh, measures that, that normally the company are selling themselves right it's it's a platform where company sells their information so here when you talk about the content they have given the financial highlights and brands financial performance performance trends chairman's letter winnings with brands and innovations right and, and then you have given some reports regarding the notice of agm meeting then the director's report and management discussion analysis corporate governance then they have given the uh, financial statement so these are the key areas that we will be working uh, pulling the data for our financial models working for our financial models and you have the uh, consolidated financial statement so we will be getting into which to be which data to be taken right so then they have given the information on the uh, investors safeguards and all right so you just go through the annual report and first thing is that you should know what data has to be pulled out right so 10 important point that you should know first is that 
the what is the mission and vision of the company so vision and mission statement is very important for the company right so so when you just drag down you have to find the that this is the mission of uh, hindustan unilever so first you should know what is the vision and mission of the company so we work to create a better future every day we help people feel good look good and get more out of life brands services that are good for them and good for others so just start reading the mission reading the vision right so this is the highlight financial highlights they have given for this is the period from 2020 2011 right 2020 to 2011 so start uh, so these are the financial performance they had given but we should not pull these data into our financial models we have to directly get into their balance sheet income statement and the cash flow statement those information has to be pulled out and have, we have to uh, do the calculation as per the analyst requirement right so we have some set of requirements as per the requirements we have to pull the data and we start working on that right so that will be useful for calculating the valuations right next uh, you just read the chairman's letter second thing is that you should know uh, what this the chairman says right so he may have some uh, vision in his mind that maybe expansion plan to be done or uh, a branch new branch should be opened or new product should be launched or new services to be launched so this type of activities will be uh, continuously done by the management right so these are the things that you have to see then you just go through the what are the various products they have various brands they have uh, what are the sales categories they have uh, what are the various uh, segments uh, in various regions or various countries uh, if if they are doing their operations in foreign 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 countries right so you just grab that information and start putting it uh, in your report that is very important so who are the board of directors you can start uh, look into the, who are the board of directors over there and who are the management committees so you have to look into that right so there may be inform there, there may be possibility that the information may not be available so you can just directly contact into their investor relations by sending a mail or making an appointment with the company secretary so that you find some uh, insightful information that that has an analyst you can get right then uh, these are the uh, part that you have to do right then you have to go for the corporate information that is very important and go and look for the product overview so here we find the uh, product overview so they are foods processed foods right and beverages ice creams right then they are also in uh, export business right just have an overlook of this one and ensure that you start summarizing this information in your own words and just type into your report right so what are the products available okay how much is the sales done so this they have you know given the information in their annual report itself so you have to go for the 10 years uh, data that is very important then director's report will give you more information right regarding the explanation of the financial results right and any key developments in the company this uh, and what is the any uh, any capital expenditure plan is there or uh, what is the uh, performance measures in various areas so various areas maybe they have the various products so in the segment reporting itself we have said that uh, the uh, the particular entity can be classified in geographical uh, segment segment wise or product segment wise right so that has to be kept in the mind a 17 that is a segment reporting that has to be uh, to be kept in the mind because when we start uh, doing the financials we should know something on the financials with the help of the uh, suppose they are following the ifrs or uh, int as this accounting standard also to be taken into mind right so while uh, pulling out the data so this is also important for you right so this is the uh, hindustan unilever limited right now so coming to your uh, annual report archives just uh, getting back so these are the information that you have to pull out so ensure that you pull out the data uh, for past 10 years 10 years data is required for us right so that is very important for us to do then uh, come to the investor relations for the current uh, report right so come to the annual report you have the annual report then you click the annual report for 2020 21 so you just click that and download it so ensure that you first download all the annual reports into that then only you can able to import all the data that we require so this is the uh, annual report for uh, 2020 21 for hindustan unilever so they have given uh, the basis of what they have given the summary of the information of the company then uh, 
these are the things that you have to uh, look into right so these are things normally you have to look into right right so here uh, just chairman statement it's normally it changes right then board of directors then performance of the company just give an overall view for uh, putting the uh, market information into a report so that is very important so normally the uh, changes see every organization is not uh, stick they are not rigid enough they start changing right change is the notion of everything right so companies start changing its product changing its brands expanding its operation or downsizing its operations that could be upstream supply that could be a downstream supply so these are the factors you you have to just look under all the areas that we have done in management so you you have read in management right see marketing part you have to see what is the strategic management what is the strategy they are adopting uh, so you can just identify those from the uh, wordings of the uh, officers right so officers of the uh, company so these are the officers of the company that they would have given their statement so from the statement so you can automatically interpret what the officers say right so if even if you are not having any clarity you can just send a mail to the officer they will definitely reply you right so that is very important <clears throat> so blindly don't ensure that you don't put any your own assumption to interpret a company in wrong way that that is very wrong because that is not the uh, analyst code of ethics because you are violating the code of ethics don't do that right so whatever the information is that you have to just put that information pull out this information and present it in a more uh, easiest way so that your client start interpreting it well and they start uh, taking decision uh, on the companies uh, whether to do a stock investment or uh, do a company valuation or do a uh, business valuation of the business valuation of a particular uh, segment so there may be a lot of decision that has to be taken by the client so maybe uh, you are a fund manager or maybe you require the you want to invest in uh, hul in hindustan union liver to hold a stock or sell a stock or buy a stock that is a recommendation given by a financial analyst or equity research analyst but the decision of the financial models could be financial models can be done for any clients maybe say uh, there is an one more competitor say suppose he require some report on the uh, hul right so what product cat uh, uh, product size they have and what is the sales they have how far that revenues is been growing up so that he can make the product on his own so it differs the information here more mostly the thing is that information so here information is the product that has to be sold right so this is the part of uh, hindustan liver suppose i <clears throat> suppose we uh, suppose let us get into the uh, the banking sector suppose i require into banking sector right so in this case of banking sector you can go to the sbi right suppose i, I want to go for sbi right sbi type as investor relations right go to investor relations click that then you have the sbi investor relations click the to sbi right so in this investor relations you may find the annual report so in this case you are not finding it but you just have hover over the website okay these are the information that the company has just don't blindly go to annual report just have the overall view of the uh, information which is given in their website right so what is the various accounts they are providing okay what is the investment deposits they are having what are the loans what are the what are the types of loans they are having what is the interest rate they are providing okay what are the cards they are providing right so what is the digital uh, way of uh, banking they are providing so these are the information has an uh, unless you should know because you are the key uh, intermediary for the clients right we are the key intermediary for the clients that we have to present the information in a very lucid way and in a very clarity way uh, with the help of the financials with the info with the market information so that the market information what we give that should not uh, that should not result in wrong decision by the investors that is very important right so next uh, here in this spi so go to corporate governance right so in this corporate governance we click the corporate governance uh, you find the financial results is given for the spi right so they have given the unaudited financial results for quarter ended 31st december 2021 then uh, then we require the annual report right so you can go to annual report right so go to annual report you find the annual report information is given just click the annual report and you find the annual report of this one is given so they have given the annual report for uh, 2020 and 21 just just open it and see this <clears throat> so this is the chairman message they have given so you can directly get into the annual report also 
so it becomes easy so here they have given the director's report the financial statement so here they have categorize the information as per the requirements so we as an analyst we have to just see what are the requirements so bank auditors you can see the uh they just categorize it right so they have categorized the uh instead of putting into single they have categorized it right now coming to the annual report so suppose we normally have to do the uh, analysis of past 10 years so for that we have to do uh get into the annual report uh from 2011 so 2010 to 2011 to 2020 2021 so we have to do the analysis from 10 years right 10 years of data so i require this one 2010 to 2011 so it will come up right so it will just come up so uh, then or you can select whichever the year you require you can just go for that and you can start getting into that right so they are asking for director's report then you need ba balance sheet and ca cash flow statement so just use click this one then it will open right <clears throat> then directly it will just get into the consolidated balance sheet <clears throat> and we have to just pull out this information which is required for us right so we normally will be calculating the uh, income statement right balance sheet the cash flow statement and we'll be uh, creating our debt schedule okay and the working capital and uh, as per the bank it also differs so we uh, do according to what we require right so normally bank uh, main is that it's net interest margin so they are mostly uh, working on the performance of the net interest margin the bank performance ratios we have to calculate on the uh, liquidity uh, how far the liquidity they are managing so these are the key factors which change from industry to industry so when you talk about the hindustan unilever uh, here they are more concerned with the products and services because they uh, they have the huge inventory so we find that inventory inventory ratios are more important so when you come into the banking they are mostly dealing with the intangible products so when you talk about intangible products they have to we have to see the bank's performance measures and we have to see about the uh, risk measures and we have the crar so capital risk uh, requisite ratios and we have to see about the risk weighted assets of the bank so we can do uh, with some of the models that uh, we can uh, do right some of the models we can do and uh, come out pull out the information right so these are the information that you can get uh, from an annual report right so suppose i go for the capital adequacy norms right so these capital adequacy norms when we talk about bank we should know something about the basel norms right so basel 1 basel 2 and basel 3 so these are the uh, reframing of the capital structure of the bank so it differs actually right the how much uh, risk weighted assets that a bank should have the CRAD ratios or you would have uh, seen heard about the camel's rating c a m e l s right camel's rating so capital adequacy management expenses and liquidity right so these are the part that you have to look up and uh, just go through how actually npas were actually we have to go for the npas so npas itself already we have done in the corporate in the corporate accounting uh, we have done how far the npas actually works out the substandard assets doubtful assets uh, doubtful two assets doubtful three and loss assets so then we have the N nps net nps so when we talk about the analyzing of this one uh, it requires little bit of a uh, key uh, trickiness while uh, pulling out the information right so this is with respect to the banks suppose i require say uh, one more sector suppose we go to the say a media network suppose go to google and uh, suppose i need a media network right so media network when you talk about the media network so media is a very huge network out of the industries that we have so one part of the media is suppose i uh, go for the say radhan media network right radhan media network network investor relations so here you have the radhan tv right so if you're if you're more keen in uh analyzing the media platform right so we are more uh, if you're more keen in analyzing the uh, media platform then first thing what you have to do is that uh, go to investor uh, this part right investor relations so you find so when you get to the media industry this media industry is mostly uh, with respect to the okay when we talk about the uh, media industry so media industry requires the mostly that they sell is the information right the information with respect to the information that they sell maybe the uh, shows they they actually perform right so media industry it's it's a very big industry 
right it's a very big sector this it is it's like booming it like anything but you find a lot of uh, losses also been uh, faced by the uh, media industries also right it's not mean that one side of the coin is good green right other side could be it's a black right the dark side also is that so when we talk about media industry normally the key product is the information so information uh, could be in the form of a video it could be in the form of an audio it could be uh, the information uh, mostly done in the television or newspapers or social media a social media is that we are doing in the social media right so i'm just giving you the uh, delivering the information type, type of product with the help of a, with the help of a social media channel so then you have the video games you have the film you have the musics so these are the uh, media industries actually it comprises all the types of businesses right so traditional media and the niche area that you have to check out the niche area is mostly uh, most of the uh, industries normally we find that they stress only only the specific se uh, sector of segments so when we talk about this one uh, normally this company actually they mostly target only on the uh, middle level segments where they mostly concentrate more on the television parts right and uh, as far as the radhika right radhika saras kumar uh, uh, CEO, right? CEO of Radhan Media Networks, right? So she uh, mostly the talent. They have the individual skill talent. Here they are not uh, producing any products, right? They are not generating any products. They are not doing any services. They are not manufacturing anything. What they are manufacturing is that they are manufacturing the information, right? Information, the entertainment, entertainment part. So mostly these are required by the individual skills. They have their own skills. They have their own talent, right? So this is a skill-based industry, I can say. So the analyst, as far as an analyst, analyst is concerned, you should not just confuse with that this uh, financial factor should be taken into this financial model. It differs from industry to industry and company to company. So, so when you talk about the Hindustan lever, it differs, right? So when you talk about this, is entirely different from the uh, media industries that we have. So it changes, right? So it changes from one to one. So when you come to the media networks, here you find, you just go through, hover with the channels, what are the, that they are having. So normally if you are not getting the proper information, they have given the uh, company secretary information, right? So you can directly go and mail to company secretary from the investor, from to the investor uh, relation so that they will respond to you what type of information required, why you require the information. Say you are the analyst and you want to do research in this area and you sell the report or you want to do some investment in this company, right? In the media industries, right? They are, they, they definitely welcome you, right? So as an analyst, right? And uh, so in this, you just uh, start hovering you all the uh, areas, right? What is the media news and whom to contact? So in this, as far as investor is concerned, we, we, as far as the analyst is concerned, we are more concerned with the financials, right? So in, in these investors, they have given the, uh, who are the board of directors, the audit committee, right? So just who is the leadership, go to board of directors. So you can find the, who is the board of directors over here, right? So you find that, uh, the board of directors is V. Selvaraj, right? So he's the board of directors of the company, right? And independent. And then we have the Radhika Sarat Kumar, the managing director. Then we have the uh, director operations uh, R. Sarat Kumar, right? So now, when you are more keen in uh, analyzing the media industries, you should know who are the officers uh, who are mostly getting into this part, right? So you should know more concerned with the officers who is working in this company. Right. So then you we are more concerned with the financials. You go to investors, then you can go to audit committee for getting the information because the the company has already given the informations to you because this is to be done as per the uh, MCA, right? As per the company secretary audit. So then you have the annual report. So you can go to annual reports and the financials come to annual reports. So they have given the annual reports in a very easy way that you can download. So for this, suppose you want to do the analysis in media industry, you have to take the information from 2020-21 to 2010-2011. Uh, so <clears throat> these are the uh, PDF format that they have given. You start downloading it, keep it in a particular folder. Then we will be in next session, we'll be seeing about pulling those data from the financials. So first, ensure that you just download it and start giving an overview of what this is about, right? So this is the Radhan Media Network. I'll just make it a little bit huge size, right? So this is your La La Radhan Media Network, the annual report. So now you find, just go through what is actually, so what is the date of birth? They have given the details of the board of directors the the company officers right 
so just have an overlook of the company offices and whom to contact right so first thing is that in annual report what is the mission statement vision statement and then you have to look off or look uh, on more keenly on management and discussion analysis so the company is also involved in <clears throat> the foreign exchange operations right transactions right so how they are managing the funds so what are the risks here they have also given the risk factors so what is happening to them so here the here they have given the uh, risk factors the company has identified the risk so let's maximize it right so they have just keenly given you the company has identified the risk attached to it and it, it's concerned about mitigation control same so economic slowdown uh, growing competition dependence on single broadcast channel uh, current perspective only in regional languages change in audience taste right so see the audience taste just changes right because they are they are actually skill based uh, performance performers right so when you talk about media industries so only one person who is uh, giving their its own individual performance his skill is being uh, entertained by the audience right so audience as the main uh, audience plays a vital role compared to the performer so performer has to give a particular information uh, he has to give entertain them so that is the main part so lifestyle when the lifestyle changes the buying habit changes so they they have given all the uh, information about that even you don't know about anything about uh, the risk concerns of uh, you don't know anything about media industry go to their annual report the company secretary have uh, listed out jotted down well uh, information so they have also given the SWOT analysis so excellent way of giving the information for the clients who want to invest in this uh, industry actually so they given this SWOT analysis excellent way of giving the information they have given the uh, market information is well de defined way so this can be taken as an uh, information can be taken as an uh, preparing your valuation for doing a valuation for a media company called rather networks so it's a media company then you can start seeing who are the competitors for them so normally this uh, rather than media mostly they are targeting on the specific uh, segment so you find the uh, when you talk about the corporate governance report so this csr the corporate governance report has to be submitted by submitted to the uh, MC, right? The MC filing has to be done, right? So company filing has, has to be done. Uh, as far as uh, company secretary's point of view, right? So here you have find that who are the officers over here. Right? So you have uh, Radhika chairperson, managing director. Then you have Sarath Kumar. Then you have the other uh, officers over here, right? Then they have also given the uh, breakup of the officers details also in the annual report so you have the transparency they have bringing lot of transparency into that so we, if you see the uh, radhika right she, home science remained well rep rep reputed actor throughout her career spanning more than three decades she is one of the select few who have made both films and television careers very so, so she's more specialized in those areas so this is a niche segment where uh, miss mrs r radhika right she's more focusing on the television which is a niche segment where uh, she's up upskilling herself right in those areas and they have given she has won many awards including national award film fair tamil Nadu state government award right and she's also a creative head of the company so she is also a creative head right and take care of entire pre-production work like selection of story concept so it's it's entirely a, a big a big work it's very difficult work right it's not it's a single day you can't do that right uh, it requires a lot of creativity here in this industries you require a lot of creativity a skill a tremendous pressure is there in front uh, in front of an an artist right that you have to perform right so this industry is entirely different right so it's not like that you uh, uh you are working in a so banking sector is entirely different this media industry so that's why i'm just focusing on the uh stressing on the how the key factors works on a particular sector a sector to sector different if you choose a pharma sector the operational and the risk factor will differ right in the similar way if you choose a pharma sector it will differ in the similar way choose a banking sector the operational and the risk factor will differ so it differ from sector to sector so when you as an analyst you have to stress only on these uh, the sectoral part so you can just specialize only in one sector so when you start specializing in one sector you definitely have the worth enough to produce a better valuation for the company and start uh, helping out the company in uh, pulling out the funds for them also right so this is the role of an analyst because we have to be uh, very very transparent in nature and we have to start helping out the so we have the intermediary key intermediaries which uh, flow the money from one end to another end 
then you have another uh, officer so we have you have uh, mr r sarat kumar right and then they have given the information about him right then these are the officers then just start scrolling it down and you find a lot of information which is available there so so how actually they do here they have the so category wise they have also given the shareholding patterns right so how the shareholding patterns is there right then we get into so mostly we are concerned with the so these are informations can be uh, taken out right so these are the financials the financials they have given right so these are the financial this is the income state this is the balance sheet they have given over here right so we have to take the information so when you talk about the balance sheet uh, this is the current year this is the previous year so we have to start pulling out these informations and pulling it into our excel right that is very important then this is your uh, profit and loss statement so this is the parent account that income statement they have given right so then we these are the schedules so we have to see how so this is revenue from uh, tele serials or films so they are more specialized on those areas so which is a niche segment right so which uh, they have they are the leaders on that right so then in a similar way you have to say uh, start seeing about the competitors of them also just start seeing the performances so this is the way that you have to see the annual report uh, and pulling out the data so what you have to do is that you have to pull all the annual report 10 years uh, annual report so ten, pull pull out all the 10 years annual report and ensure that uh, you start working on that right so pull up the data and read all the uh, part and ensure that you uh, start writing the market information that is very important first part a that i have given is the market information that you have to just fulfill the information with the help of so there is no need to go and search the websites and all you find in the annual report itself the company has given the excellent informations that the breakdown they have given so now you find this is the report of uh, the 2020 21 uh you find this is the annual report for the media right so same the board of uh, they have given the officers so these are the officers same uh, radhika sarat kumar chair person right sarat kumar krishna murthy krishna prasad selvaraj and rai nay now you start getting so normally the speeches and directors has the uh, the company progresses uh, there is lot of decisions taken by the company right so they have also seen how to file the companies and all with the help of nsdl so this is not required for us but as far as concern you just have an overview all this one so decision changes from companies uh, prospects right that's very important so this is the report they have done as per the requirement of the company secretaries right so just have a glance over the report and if you want to go get to the media industry you can go for that so this is the uh, media sector that where we have to go for that right so this is the uh, way that has an analyst you have to get into and start working on that so with this uh, you start working and uh, with the market information part that is very important for us